What's up my wonderful peeps? It's your boy Sports the Bone here again man. Keeping you informed as per usual. Shout out to all the viewers and subscribers. Yeah man. Yeah man my viewers and subscribers. So right now I have a follow up on the Jonah Fleming story that I did the other day. I have in my possession a letter that was published by the, the player that is accusing Jonah Fleming. Now, for those that are not aware of what is going on, the former Jamaica College standout is now on leave after being accused of making a homophobic slur. Now, Fleming is the top goal scorer in the country's second division and is currently sitting on 14 goals from, I think it is, 13 matches. So, you know, he was basically on red hat form leading up to this incident. So the post is making the rounds on social media. This is said to be a post made by the, the player accusing Flemings. So this letter that I am talking about was um, uploaded to, to social media and allegedly it is posted by the player that is um, accusing Jonah Flemings of, of um, aiming homophobic slur towards him. Yeah man, so you know, you, you can see right here we have the... the a picture of the letter being displayed now in the letter or in the post the player states that and i quote an exchange between jonah flemings and myself escalated to the point of him calling me a b-man and we all know what jamaicans mean when they call it a b-man yeah man so eh, the player highlights a boy there was a little confrontation with himself and flemings and it escalated to the point where Fleming's um, called him a B-man. So, yeah, we see say boy playing now all about no punch. He might mm -hmm. talk exactly what him say happen. Now, the player reiterated that it is the first time in his eight-year playing career that he is being victimized like this. And mind you, this player is an open um, swimmer around, right? So, yeah, man, he's a person which part openly pronounced that he is in um in in relationship with the same gender so I know like I'm not now hide. In the in the letter the player um further went on to clear up the confusion as to why he was given a red card. Um according to the player when he first went to the referee and was um talking to the referee letting him know what's what took place apparently the referee misunderstood and thought he was calling the ref himself a gay. However, um, it was cleared up. The ref came to the understanding that he was making a report that he was being called a B-man. So, you know, the, re the red card was rescinded, rescinded. According to the San Diego player, Fleming's, um, when they were speaking to the referee, was outrightly denying the allegations. Now, mind you, in social media post and in telephone um, interview with the, 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 some personnel from Jamaica Football Federation, Fleming is totally denying this. He's saying that boy didn't say anything of the sort. So the player is still accusing Fleming, but he's holding his ground saying, boy, he never say anything like that. So it is a back and forth thing going on. However, further down in the, I could see further down in the letter. Wow, go on. So the, the player went on to further state that after the whole incident, he's totally happy and feeling good as to how his teammates and the coaching staff stood by him. So after making the complaint um, and nothing much was done, they, we, we, as we are all aware by now, the, the team actually walked off the field. So this was a decision taken by the coaching staff and, the, and his fellow teammates to walk off the field after... Um, he, he, he complained uh, about what Fleming's had done. So, boy, I could play as a right now. I'm really, I'm really happy to see how the, the team and the, and the coaching staff um, stand by him. And I am of the same opinion or the same viewpoint as to what I said in the first video. I don't know if this is truth and I don't know if it is false. At the end of the day, it cannot be good for football because... As we say, Fleming's is in red hat form now and would have been looking to make a move to a bigger league. You know, so we, if we have this hanging over his career right now, isn't anything good. So whether it is that boy, the player, just, just I said that because him and Fleming's getting our heated battle or 
whether or truth, you know, it, it generally speaking, it just cannot be good. It's not good for the game and it's not good for Flemings personally as he looks to move on with his career. No, um, based on what I heard on TVJ Sports, uh, Reggae Boys manager Roy Simpson um, in the interview stated that they are in support of Flemings and are awaiting the result of the investigation. He further went on to say that um, hopefully whatever the result is, it won't affect uh, Flemings, Fleming being able to participate um, as a member of the national team because we know we need all hands on deck as we look to try and win the Gold Cup next year, August there about, and we are also going to be looking to, to win a couple of our qualifying games to try and qualify for the World Cup. So, yeah, man, we need all hands on deck. So, you know, people are, we are just basically eagerly anticipating the, the result from this in, uh, investigation that is said to be to be taking place um, um, pretty soon. Um, in the interview, Roy Simpson also, also um, alluded to the fact that Flemings is currently in, um, is currently worried about his future as you know he 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 was basically in very good form and as i said earlier would have been looking to make the transition over to a, a, a bigger league and he is currently worried that this will affect his career so right now we just have to keep our fingers crossed and hope that when it is all said and done it will work out in a in a way that both players will feel comfortable you know um having flemings in this form wouldn't be nice for us to just lose out on, um, out on him right now but at the end of the day if it is proven that he said this then i am guessing that he will be punished based on the fact that you know he would be aware that this is something that they claim they don't tolerate which is homophobic slur and racial abuse and, and all of that in the in the league so we just have to wait and see so you know just i wish mr fleming's all the best hopefully when the result comes out, it's a positive result for both of them. Yeah, man. Sports to the bone. Keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share. Leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out. The channel. I'm